a, it's a rather nice person. And you can always see that how, um, actually, how nice she is. And she will be giving her CC project too. And this project focuses on the organization of the content. And the evaluator is Ruth Benny, a very seasoned uh, evaluator. So, and the topic of this speech is how to use your smartphone smartly. So, let's welcome Terry. Wow, I thought I was the last speaker to speak. <laughs> All right, um, maybe let me ask you a question first. Do you still remember the first time you got your smartphone? The first time. The first time. When was that? Yeah. This year. Ten years. Ah, okay. I'm so glad. I'm, because I just recently got a smartphone. Oh, me too. Great. So I'm not that late, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm, I'm a late adopter of the technology. Anyway, I just got a smartphone uh, a couple of weeks ago. And uh, the question is really for myself. How to use my <laughs> smartphone smartly, right? <laughs> so I think to be a smart smartphone user, I think the point is for me, the idea is to maximize the benefits and minimize the cost. So in terms of uh, benefits, I think there are multiple aspects of it. Uh, say for functionality, performance of the phone, what you can use the phone to make yourself more efficient and or, or more effective. So in terms of the functionality of the phone, I got uh, Sony Ericsson Neo. I, I like it pretty much. Actually, my daughter just quietly tell me it's much cooler than her daddy's uh, BlackBerry. I feel I feel kind of sad for for the for the manufacturer of a BlackBerry, but but I I, I have to I have to say it's true. It's it's cool. It has really nice uh, high resolution screen, mm -hmm. and it also has this, because it's Android phone, and I can also download other applications. So the really first step is how to maximize the benefits. So in terms of functionality, I have to learn first learn how to use the phone. This camera, this um, recorder, high resolution recorder, also there's a radio and all the new functionalities that my old phone doesn't have. So I have to learn how to use those. And then my friend told me, you know, there's so many cool applications you can download from the web. So I went to the Google Android market, and I also search online for all the popular popular applications you can find. For example, I found one uh, router's news <coughs> book that I actually download into my phone, so I can read the news, find all the financial news. It's quite cool. Uh, I think it's better than the Bloomberg one. And also, I found there's actually a mobile application for TED, the website. You can actually watch all the speeches. I think. It that could be very interesting to uh, Toastmasters. And also, there's an um, application for you to edit your photos if you uh, like to take shots. There's actually Photoshop on mobile you can download. And also, uh, if you want to impress your kids and show off how, how much you know about the stars, you can download the Google Sky Map. It's also a very cool application. So lots of the cool applications you can download from the website. And also, my friends told me about um, some Chinese Android applications. You can, it's not show up in any of the Google search results yet, but because he knows people who use, who like those a lot, so he tells me about it. And also, so I can listen to Chinese music, Chinese songs, <coughs> and also read the Chinese news, use the Baidu mobile application. So a lot of cool functionalities, a lot of applications. Because the smartphone is just actually a mini computer on your phone. So I think the, uh, you know, what, what it can do is actually unlimited. So that's the cool part about the functionality. Another cool part is, uh, another, another set aspect of maximize the performance or the benefit is to um, mind the performance of your phone. Because now it, it runs a lot of applications and um, the cool screen actually use a lot of battery. So I read the tips, you know, uh, how to extend your battery life. I found out that actually like over fifty percent, original over fifty percent was spent on the screen display. So if you just turn that brightness of the screen a little bit down, you can save you a lot of uh, battery. 
another tip is that you know to turn off um, those Wi-Fi or Bluetooth connection if you are not using it. So there's some tips about how to extend your battery life, and uh, there are also application you can download to manage the application running on your phone. So you can free up the memory space and make the rest of the application run faster. So just two aspects of uh, maximize benefits in terms of functionality and uh, improve the performance of your phone. In terms of uh, minimize the cost, I think um, the cost, of course, literally means you know bills you have to pay. <laughs> but uh, on that, I think generally you can take advantage of the promotion of the uh, operator because now I get a free promotion. I get a free uh, six months unlimited data use. I think that, that means a lot like, because the most important thing about a smartphone is to access online and you need to download a lot of data. You don't want to be worried about you know, data usage all the time. And also in terms of um, minimize the cost or damage, you have to be aware that your phone is actually a mini computer, so you need to be aware of the security and the privacy issues. For example, you want to set up a password for your phone and not use a simple one, like one, two, three, four, five, six. I actually I know people who actually use that number for their password. <laughs> So set up a password for a phone, make sure you know when someone get it, you cannot easily, you know, just get all your information. And also be aware of all the privacy uh, issue because nowadays there are so many social network websites you can go to. Do you really want to share everything with people who, who you don't know? And uh, and all the phone also have this really nice location information about yourself. So do you really want other people to Track you to know where you have a big. So, in terms of minimize uh, damage or cost to you, so the two aspects the cost and also the privacy and the security issue. So, that's basically what I found so far. I'm still learning about using the phone, so, but my goal is to, you know, get most of my phone. So, thank you. Okay,